हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे वी विल सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम ऑन थ्री हिंस्ड पैराबोलिक आर्चेस आई विल शो यू द प्रॉब्लम सो दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम वी आई विल रीड इट आउट प्रूव दैट बेंडिंग मोमेंट एंड रेडियल शेयर एट एनी पॉइंट इन द आर्च इज इक्वल टू जीरो वेन द आर्च इज लोडेड विथ यूडीएल ओवर द एंटायर स्पैन so we have the arch parabolic arch and this arch is subjected to udl over entire span and what we have to do here we have to prove that bending moment at any point in the arch is equal to zero and we also have to prove that uh, radial shear at any point is equal to zero let's find it let's prove it <coughs> so this type of arch is called funicular arch f u n i c u l a r funicular arches funicular arches are those arches bending moment at any point is equal to zero in the arch okay so we have to prove a parabolic arch when it is subjected to udl over entire span when it is subjected to udl over entire span is nothing but a funicular arch so i will define the length of the arch this is hinge hinge at a hinge at b and hinge at the crown c h is uh, let h be the rise of the arch so <coughs> l be the span of the arch and it is subjected to udl over entire span let w be the intensity of the udl intensity of the udl over entire span so what we have to do here we have to take any point at a distance x from a and we have to prove that at this section the bending moment is zero and even the radial shear is zero okay so first we will find the reaction we will find the reaction va h here vb h okay h will be same at a and at b irrespective whether the arch is a symmetrical arch or unsymmetrical arch h will be same now how to find v and vb you see the loading is symmetric the loading is symmetric even the structure is symmetric so when the loading is symmetric <coughs> reaction can be calculated as total load divided by 2 so we can find reaction at a in case of symmetrical uh, loading reaction can be found out total load divided by 2 so what is the total load of the udl w into l and divided by 2 you will get reaction wl by 2 wl by 2 so in this way you can find vertical reactions so how to find horizontal reaction you take bending moment about point c which is internal hinge and it will be equal to zero so mc equal to zero moment about point c equal to zero because it is internal hinge and let let's take ac span so when you take ac span you will get va into l by 2 because the perpendicular distance from point c is l by 2 then what you have you have this udl minus w into l by 2 into l by 4 so for 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 span ac the total uh, the length is l by 2 and total load will be acting total load will be acting at a distance at this point w into l by 
and perpendicular distance with respect to points is L by 4 ok so then we have this horizontal thrust or horizontal reaction uh, we have to calculate bending moment about point C with respect to this horizontal reaction H and the perpendicular distance is H rise and this will create anticlockwise moment so minus H capital H into small h equal to 0 so we, we know what is VA VA equal to W L by 2 into L by 2 minus W L square by 8 minus capital H into small h when you solve this equation you will get h equal to w <coughs> w l w l square by 8 h so we got the reaction now what i will do i will take a section i will take a section here at a distance x from A <coughs> so our purpose is to prove that bending moment at any point is equal to 0 so what I will do I will take a section xx at a distance x from A and I will try to prove that the bending moment at this point is 0 so let us take bending moment about this point W L by 2 into X MX equal to W L by 2 into X minus H into this Y, y distance this is Y distance and we know we know the relation of <coughs> parabola we know the relation of X and Y in case of parabolic arches Y equal to 4 H x l minus x divided by l square so this is the relation between y and x h into y and this h will create anticlockwise moment so what is h we have calculated h w l square by 8 small h into y and y we know the formula of y 4 h x l minus x divided by l square then you have this udl w intensity of udl is w kilo newton per meter <coughs> the total load of the udl will be acting at the center this pan center total load of udl w into x and we, have, we are calculating moment about this point so the perpendicular distance will be x by 2 and this total load will also create anticlockwise moment so minus w into x into x by 2 ok so this is w l by 2 into x minus w l square by 8 h into 4 h x l divided by l square plus w l square by 8 h into 4 h x square by l square so just open the bracket minus w x square by 2 so this l square l square get cancelled h h get cancelled <coughs> 4 to the here also L square L square get cancelled H H get cancelled 4 4 to the 8 so what you get here W L by 2 into X minus W L X by 2 X is there L is there 2 is there plus W x square by 2 
w is there x square is there and 2 is also there minus w x square by 2 so this term is positive and this term is negative both cancelled this is this is positive this is also negative of same magnitude so mx equal to 0 bending moment about any point x is any distance from a bending moment about any point will be equal to 0 so when <coughs> when a parabolic arch is a three hinged parabolic arch is subjected to udl over entire span the bending moment at any point is equal to 0 so we have proved that and such arches are called funicular arches funicular arches are the one where bending moment at any point is equal to 0 so next we have radial shear at any point equal to 0 so we shall take same point a parabolic arch is subjected to udl over entire span we have to prove that radial shear at any point is equal to 0 so we shall take the same point section xx at a distance x from a and i will try to draw the free body diagram of of this span uh, a c b d i will try to draw the free body diagram of span ad span ad a d it is subjected to udl The distance from A to D is X. Okay, so we we know the reaction at A. We know vertical reaction and horizontal reaction at A. Horizontal reaction is W L square by A H. Vertical reaction we know W L by two. Okay, so what we have to do here? We have to find radial shear. And we have to prove that the radial shear at any point is equal to 0. So, we know the formula of radial shear. We know the formula radial shear Q equal to H sin theta minus V cos theta. Okay. So, at this point, at point D, we have to calculate radial shear and we have to calculate horizontal reaction at D as well as vertical shear at D. So, horizontal reaction at D will remain same H at D H equal to W L square by 8 H. Horizontal reaction will not change at any point. But what about the vertical, vertical shear at D? So, this is W vertical shear at D WL by 2 is going upward and W into X is going downward so vertical shear at <coughs> at D will be V at D WL by 2 is going upward WL by 2 and W into X total load of UDL is going downward minus w x okay so we got we got h value we got h value h at d <coughs> we got v value v at d vertical shear at d and we uh, now we need to find the sin theta and cos theta we know the relation of y and x in case of parabolic arches y equal to 4 h x l minus x divided by l square so you take any tangent any cha any tangent <coughs> this is dy and this is dx and this is theta okay so from this from this diagram tan theta equal to dy by dx <coughs> and y is 4hx l minus x divided by l square so when you derivate this formula with respect to x you will get dy by dx so derivating this formula derivating this formula with respect to x so what you get see 
डी वाई बाय डी एक्स इक्वल टू फोर एच फोर एच एल माइनस टू एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय एल स्क्वायर इफ यू टेक एक्स इन साइड द ब्रैकेट दिल विल दिस विल बी एल एक्स माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर सो डेरीवेशन ऑफ एल एक्स विल बी एल एंड डेरीवेशन ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर विल बी टू एक्स सो वेन यू डिराइव दैट फॉर्मूला विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स यू विल बी गेटिंग दिस फॉर्मूला नो सी यर टेन टीटा इक्वल टू डी वाई बाई डी एक्स टेन टीटा इक्वल टू डी वाई बाई डी एक्स सो वी नो वॉट इज डी वाई बाई डी एक्स फोर एच एल माइनस टू एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय एल स्क्वायर and we also know from the trigonometry tan theta equal to sin theta by cos theta we know from the trigonometry <coughs> when you equate this two element sin theta will be equal to numerator to numerator denominator to denominator so sin theta will be equal to 4h l minus 2x and cos theta will be equal to l square okay so we got h value we got sin theta we got cos theta we also got vertical shear value at d and we can proceed with the formula so we got the value of h what is h at point d at point d h equal to w l square by 8h and at point d v equal to wl by 2 minus w into x just have to substitute here h w l square by 8h into sin theta we got the value of sin theta 4h bracket l minus 2x 4h bracket l minus 2x <coughs> minus v vertical Shear at D. We got the value W L by 2 minus W X into cos theta. So cos theta we got L square. So see what you get. Solve this equation. Q equal to 4 2 H H get cancelled. So what you have here W L cube. By two, you multiply, you open the bracket, minus W L square X. Then you open this bracket, minus W L square L cube by two plus W L square X. So this this term get cancelled. This will also get cancelled. So radial shear is equal to zero. so we proved that radial shear about any point is equal to zero in case of arches in case of arches three hinged arches when it is subjected to udl over the entire span thank you for watching this video thank you